Hello RimWorld Earths, gamers, dudes, gals and plantites. Paralogic time again, this time we have proximity type sensors. First up is the proximity sensor switch. Requiring paralogic sensors research, the proximity sensor is like the bigger brother of the pressure plate sensor, but it works within a fixed range rather than a single tile. Like the pressure plate, it acts like a switch and also has the IFF gifts modes meaning it can be configured for friendlies or enemies. Remember to configure these gizmos as they do start as off. You can light up a long corridor with several of these covering it. You just need two conduits running in parallel to each other. Attach your lights to the unpowered conduit and place your proximity sensors between these conduits with the IFF configured to friendlies. The corridor will stay lit as long as the pawn is in range of at least one of these proximity sensors. Second is a remote proximity sensor. Requiring Paralogic remote sensors research, the remote proximity sensor is a step up from the regular proximity sensor. You could even say it is the bigger brother of the proximity sensor. Each have their differences from each other though. Some pros, some cons. The remote proximity sensor is a Wi-Fi device rather than a switch, transmitting rather than switching, and also requires power. On the upside, it also has an adjustable range. So increasing range does increase the amount of power used. So be aware of this before using it over the normal proximity sensor. Often you will use a remote proximity sensor if you want to cover a larger area or if you want to pair it with something like a remote door or a remote switch. Lastly we have the radar, which requires paralogic radar research. Now the radar isn't a proximity sensor but is more accurately a danger sensor and can't differentiate between different threats like a normal proximity sensor can. If a raid enters the map, danger level is usually high. If a pawn gets attacked, it can increase the danger. Basically any time the music goes intense. Furthermore, the radar also has a mini-map that I've styled to be like a radar, which you can choose to use or not. The radar also doesn't have IFF buttons. Instead you have an info tab for options when to transmit, either danger low or danger high. Also on this tab you have the pop-out button for the minimap, and also other options for how the minimap appears and what information it shows, like showing where your colonists are, where they're going, or even where letters are pointing. Since it's a Wi-Fi device, you could pair it with a remote switch. Setting to transmit when safe, you could control some workbenches to make sure they're only on when there's no danger, but setting to transmit when danger high, you can control turrets in much the same way. Or if you just wanted to use the minimap on its own, you could turn both transmit options off. That's all for the proximity class sensors, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be informed of more Paralogic videos. Goodbye!